We're going to take another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're going to shine a spotlight on five-star edge rusher Colin Simmons, who is signed with the Texas Longhorns. We're going to go over his highlights. We're going to go over his scouting report. But before we do, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're going to be covering this 2024 recruiting class hot and heavy all offseason long. And you need to know what your freshmen are going to be looking like as they go into spring ball this year, as they start making plays on the field this year, next year, the year after. You know a little bit about them. You know what they're about. Plus, they're going to be doing this every year as well. So click that button. Stop missing out. But let's get this started. Let's look at his 24-7 Sports Player Profile page. If you're here for just the highlights, fast forward a few minutes. You'll get there. Looking at this right now, he's a legit five-star prospect in the rating system. In the composite, he's a five-star. In the rankings, he's a five-star. Number one edge in the composite. Number four edge in the rankings. He's high up there. Six foot three, 225 pounds. This lets us know he's got a frame where he can add more size, which he will at Texas. Signed on National Signing Day, as we see, and he's got 45 offers. He's got 45 offers. If you follow the channel, you know that's where I look at the most is the offers. 45 means college football wanted him. And they want you because you're good. And that's why they're after you. That's why they're sending you an offer letter. They're not sending random jabronis offer letters. So that means he's good. That means he's a prospect that's hot out there. So Texas bagged him a good one here. You see Alabama, Miami, SMU, Alabama A&M. Just skimming the top. 45 offers means top tier Power 5 programs went after him. They were looking him up. And you're going to see that here. Arizona, Arizona State. They've got Auburn, Colorado. Deion Sanders wanted them. Florida. Florida State, Georgia. All the schools wanted them. Kansas State, LSU. LSU was in the bidding. Michigan, Michigan State. Mississippi State. There's Ohio State, Oklahoma. I don't think I need to scroll anymore. Everybody wanted this guy. Played in the Under Armour All-American game. And they got him compared to Nick Bottonito. Athletic edge defender with speed-based game, adequate height, and above average length. That's good. Most dangerous from a two-point stance. Slashes initial athleticism that prevents some tackles from even touching him. Highly productive with almost two dozen sacks as a junior. Capable of winning with secondary rush. Targets the ball and goes for the strip. Athleticism and playmaking drive occasionally run him out of place. Will need some mass and additional strength to stand up in the run game. One of the top pass rushers in the country. This guy's got speed. He's got athleticism. He's got burst. He's got pop off the step. That's what they're saying. They're saying he needs to add some mass. He's six foot three. He's got the frame to do so. That's what they're saying there. That's what the numbers say at least. We'll see on tape what he's looking like here. And then going at the timeline. Looks like LSU, July 9th, he had a visit, but committed on August 10th to Texas. Signed on National Signing Day. Texas A&M tried to get him. Had more visits to Texas. He was shopping around as he should. 33 tackles for loss, 22 and a half sacks. That's a lot. 79 tackles off the edge. Dude was productive. Five-star going over to on three here for his initial rankings. Five-star recruit on all of them. That's a good sign because a lot of times it's a mixed bag. We got some five-stars and four-stars. Not with him. Edge number two in the initial rankings. Edge number three on all three's other rankings here. 24-7 Sports got him at four like we said earlier. Two at ESPN and number one for rivals. Let's dig into tape here. Let's see what he's about. Let's see his game. Let me know how you got him rated. Four star, five star. You love him, you hate him, whatever you're thinking about him. And let's watch this guy play some ball here. So let's get this going. First play. There he is. Tackling the ball carry right there. You're seeing him burst off the line. And you're seeing him run like a bat out of hair. He's at number eight right there. Just gets the ball carrier quickly. We do need to see more samples of plays, but things are looking good. There's him again with the tackle. 
You're seeing good length off the arms there. He's got a good wingspan. Gets off there, scrapes off. Good tackle. That's the same play back to back. We've only seen two plays so far. Now we're standing up, two point stance. Gage with the blocker. We get around him. I imagine he's spinning back to the ball. And there we go. We get the tackle. We get the tackle there. We're seeing speed. I think this might be the same play. There we get off. Watch the spin. Stays with the play. Looking solid. I don't see how he does in that size. I think that's going to be very easy for him. See how he gets around 72 here. Gets underneath. Spins out. Looks very similar to the other play, but I think it's different. Unless it is the same one. They don't circle him off. So he's on the edge up top. Ooh. If you can't tell, he's the guy coming in at like a bat out of hell off the edge. So it looks like he's up top there. On the edge there. Standing up. Two-pointer. 52. Can barely get his hands on. They got to hold on the jersey a little bit. And he still gets by. Still gets by. There he is. The same play. It's against 52 again. Let's see how he works. Yep. Just shoots right on past him. 52 can't even get out of stance fast enough. Look at 78 there. Look at the quality of players there. I don't know. I imagine he's on the bottom, maybe. Maybe. Or top. Looks like him on the bottom. Yep, there he is. Bam! Shoots right in that gap. He's got some burst. Hope this is the same play. Looks like it. The reason I can tell just how he carries himself. Bam. Shoots in there. Gets in on the play. Stays low, too. He's to your right here. Right hand of the screen on the edge. They're not circling him off in this tape. He just gets in there. He just takes the gap. The gap is always his. And he fires in there like a bat out of hell. He's on the bottom. There. He might be up top. There he is up top. Getting to the ball carry. Easy. There he is. We're going to get a second look. Tackle ain't going to be able to do it. It's 72 again. 72 just got beat up in this game. 72, I'm sorry. The same play. Pops 72 back on his heels and just rolls off of it. So we're standing up here. Is this against 72 again? Oh! Oh, it made him eat dirt. It had to be 72. Maybe, yeah. Looks like it. Just destroys him. He's got some power there with that burst. 72 again. Yeah, that it was 72. I think that's the same play. Watch him. Bam! Disrupts it a little bit, too. He is a fascinating player. Here we go. We're at the top here. Coming off. Reads the running back, gets down the line, gets the tackle. That's a good read. Hold and contain as well. Doesn't get sucked in. Almost gets there. Disrupts the play, though. Is it down at the bottom? Or is it, oh, wait, he's up top. Disrupting another one. He's so quick. He's almost there before the... The ball gets to the quarterback. There he is. Once he shoots through that gap, he, you notice him real quick. Texas is getting some speed. Texas is getting very athletic. Out of this recruiting class, I'll say that. They've got some guys coming. Especially on the defensive side of the ball. Looking good. Looking good. Coming up. We're going to peel off. Oh, the spin and gets to the running back. That's solid. We're up top. Doesn't look good for the tackle. 
They try to block down. He's still going to get to the running back. Still going to get to the running back. Making it look easy. Is the same play? Yep. Has to be. Yep. That's it. That is it. And that was a fun highlight tape because he's highly athletic. He's a very, very good pass rusher. He's got a lot of burst. He can beat the tackle off the edge right out of his stance. And also, he's got power. We saw him just throw a guy on his back, 72 there. He also pushed a lot of tackles up on their heels and was able to spin out or maneuver out away from them. He's got a lot of burst, too. He gets off the block and gets to the ball carry rather quickly. He is a guy that could be a big disruptor there as an edge pass rusher. Very scary guy because you know there's upside to tap in here, too, because he's going to get bigger. He's going to get stronger, and he's going to have that speed and burst, which is going to make him very dangerous, especially at the college level. And Texas is going to need a guy like this in the SEC. Let me know what you think about him in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching, though. Catch you on the next video.